Ah, come in, come in. Grab yourself a seat. You are among friends. Tonight is the night, if you didn't know. People come from far and wide to listen, to hear stories of old and new. You are surrounded by, dare I say, some of the <clears throat> finest adventurers in Castile. Would even pose that some are here from the Empire in the frozen north near Groxton. A mangled bunch of halfwits and degenerates if you asked any respectable man or woman though. But that is not why you are here. Sit back, relax, grab yourself an ale. These are the tales from the Red Wyvern Inn. The afternoon came for the elegantly prepared Kitsune, and all went well with the coming-of-age ceremony at the Ancetiche Noem. Powerful words were shared, delicacies on silver trays splayed on the highly polished tables, traditional dances enraptured the gallantly dressed onlookers. All appeared to be in order. It was during the after-party when three discreetly dressed men made their way towards the main floor with ill intentions. Before the intruders could be intercepted, the lead man rolled out three small objects to spin about among those dancing and enjoying the reverie. In a flash, the balls erupted in a gout of flame. Three fiery birds sprung forth, sending the partygoers into a mad dash, as well as surprising the mysterious assailants. The heroes went into action, working to protect the Lord and his granddaughter while fighting off the ash belters. The creatures' ashen breath burned many before being sent back from where they came. Shaken Jacks, the steward of the Lord, thanked them for their service before joining his Lord to head back to the safety of the estate. After what seemed like a botched attempt on the Lord's life, there lingered a few questions. Who attacked the party and why? Why were the intruders surprised by the clay ball's magical nature? And what happened to all the silverware? Wait, we know the answer to that. And the adventure continues. Okay. Uh, we are out of initiative. I will also. Is this item in the kitchen getting anything? No, you got food earlier. The hour before. No, I was just hanging out in the tree the ago? whole time. You... Yeah, I didn't come. Well, no, it's been now two and a half hours. Alright, I'm gonna battle on. They are all dead! The chickens, huh? Some of them. Um, yeah. I will investigate the area where. Balls cracked open. Okay. You see on the ground what appears to be hardened clay uh, shards. And. Shards? Of course. Uh, and and spr sprayed out from the impact seems to be a fine type power. Like a black and red power. Like somebody took. Without the glitter, but like a glitter bomb. <laughs> Before we move anything, does anyone know what this is? It's like a I know that the men that rolled these balls to the center of the party. That'll be. There's tracks in the snow. Is it still snowy now? I don't know what balls are going to be like. Well, eyes in the sky. Well, the you want to say way. anything, Will? To that? No, I don't Snow, track. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good out there. Uh, can uh, can you can just follow them. It is snowing, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's, it's not, it's not crazy. snowing hard enough to cover up their tracks. Oh, no. The only drawback is is the all the people that fled mixing into those tracks. We have a bird. Uh, I'm going to go help the old lady out. The, uh, the old lady one? one? Oh, sorry, let me help you out. I'm so sorry those frost uh, creatures attacked you like that. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Be, she's a little bit of an older lady. She's all freaked out. I, so you over here. here. Anyone and you see, like, it's really inflamed, red, flaking yeah, skin <laughs> wound <laughs> where she got hit by it. And then your yeah. mark is this big old uh, crystallized part where the, the uh, yeah. dress is all... <laughs> Yeah, I, ripped away. I can't believe a fire and a frost creature were helping each other. <laughs> um, I'm gonna find something to collect. It was so crazy. I just. Oh. She cried. Uh, well, I'm gonna banish myself. What hand did you? you? <laughs> <laughs> Is that yours? I'll take it. I already saw it now. 
Um, yeah, I'll find there. something to collect all three or whatever's left of the three okay. balls. Some of it seems to have been stepped on and crushed. Yeah, but that was still, my biggest worry. But not like, was scattered. like, yeah, there's some of it was crushed to the point like a lot of just like uh, kind of just fell apart. Um, now that you're touching a bunch of it, you see that uh, on the outside and on the inside of the curvatures to it, it looks like they're probably when they were crafted, they were drawn on or sculpted in lines that look like they might be some type of like uh, arcanic rune uh, writing. Rune. Arcanic writing, yeah. What was to protect it? What was the use to do? You must get paid. Let us follow these tracks. For free. And outside of our scope of work that we agreed to, we're here to make sure that nobody. So, okay. in our own best interest to find out what happened here. Maybe the elf man knows. I don't know. No what good means. deed goes unrewarded, the sir. Or unpunished. Oh. And uh, <laughs> Jax does join you guys now uh, as you're uh, collecting up and as you're talking somewhat. Fine work, gentlemen. Fine work. You did a service, and your uh, your dues will be waiting for you at the Red Wire. And the money will have up. no. We will have a uh, we we'll have a courier take it over. So our obligations are finished then. Of course. Hey, little fellow, show them in your broken balls. He gives a look and he's like, Am I here? Am I missing something? <laughs> Those creatures came out. There's three these, broken balls. These urns of some sort that have yeah, some like bizarre it. writing. It's that very I odd. Yeah, what do you think? What do you make of them? They were handcrafted by somebody. Yeah. Hey. I'll show I mean, you. Why do would, these look. Why would anyone. I come here and do that. That's just crazy. Don't our pay for it, sir. These look anything to you? Oh, I look at them. I don't have so. You don't? <laughs> but here's my only question is even though you don't have it, you, you would you still yeah. an idea of what it is? Like, yeah, because you would, you would eventually have something that you'd like draw out. You'd have half our time. Well, you, you hey, might not know the stuff. I might be able to juggle. They don't know balls. that. Yeah, <laughs> they don't know what you have. Yeah, that's. Have. I, I, mean, I just know that. I'm gonna look at it. No okay. magic. Oh, oh uh, point seven. Your check, our can check. Uh, it's an eighteen. Ooh. Yeah, it seems to uh, uh, definitely be of an arcane nature. Um. You can easily guess that they must be to do something with summoning. Somehow, that the cracking of the, those uh, balls uh, was reactive and uh, sent out. The energy was released to summon these creatures. Oh, I choose you, Nash. That's right. The who's the main character? What's the name character? Main Ash. character's name? Ash. 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 <laughs> what are the coincidence of that? Ash Ketchum. <laughs> That's hilarious. It really is me. Yeah. yeah. Ash Ketchum. Ash. Ash Ketchum. Ketchum. And then got a Ketchum. Yeah. I watched it. I have a son. Jacks, you can send your men to follow trails. Well, I mean, I don't know. We don't really have anybody that's uh, trained did, trackers. Did you have any guards posted on the wall by any chance? No, they were by the carriages. 
we have station along the, uh, the route here as well. These people came with a lot of firepower. I mean, they were here to try to kill him, I'd imagine. Well, then you have to understand, my Lord, he doesn't leave the estate. Rarely ever leaves the estate. This is one in the, one type of opportunity within three years. This was a well-known event. This is a big deal. Well, at least for the man. How did they get in so easy? Oh, you know the answer. There's this whole place is all open, just like you saw oh, the picture. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's like a giant, open, horribly designed bird cage because it's obviously not so that it's in. As much as it is uh, keeping them attracted to Did any of you notice anything of the guys? Yes. Well, I noticed the guns. They were, uh, they came out of the tree. It's right there in front of us. Main dancer. Yeah, the if you would have hidden that tree, you would have found them. Sorry, I Rook. thought I could see everything from that tree, including myself. Are you in the forest? No, this tree isn't very uh, covered by anything. Covered enough for them to hide it. <laughs> they weren't in the tree. According to this guy, yeah, they were. They came out of the tree. Came, came from the direction of the tree. Notice anything in their name? Facial expressions? As far as these? Yeah, they were surprised at what happened uh, when the ball was opened up. The ass blasters came out. So they didn't know what they were doing. So they might not have come here to kill them. Or what it might be. So someone higher up is. So you have a problem of three men who unknowingly wanted four boss. Hmm, four. It's very strange. You can think of boss. You'd think that if they were hiring assassins, that the assassins knew what would have Unless there's a reason. That's it must be. That's it. She's dead. That was oh, way <laughs> no, she's not. She's got a lump on her head. She's got a burn mark and a, and a frozen mark. She's still right. Yeah. yeah. And Lucy's trying to sense. console her. <laughs> her with the pain. Baby, baby, and then one baby. Baby's on dead underneath one of the tables. On the, the, collar on the table cloth. Like, sorry, big up. Your big bite mark out of it. What? Well, you throw a great party. Happy to be here. Uh, call us again for the next one. Okay. Yeah, let us know if you need to assist. We'll be good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will make sure that word spreads wide about the Red Wyverns' capabilities. Freezing. Is there any uh, non broken bottles of wine? Yes. Come on, fellas, let's punch the road. I gotta get my arm first. Yep, I'm gonna go with this one. There's not many uh, servants still here, but they're starting to work on cleaning up as you guys are pulling yourselves together. Uh, the. Uh, Majority of the guests have left. The, uh, of course, the main lord and the young child. They have left, or not so much child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you start heading back. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, 
takes you about an hour and a half to get back. Um, as you see, the <laughs> festivities are still going on. The uh, evenings uh, are already here because it has gotten dark by the time the end of this event would be taking place. Uh, I don't know. We'll present that. Yes. Yes. Uh, as we answer it on that, we have a scene of the other scenes. Oh. Uh. No, no. No, I haven't. She hasn't uh, come through here. You wouldn't expect her to come through the North Gate anyways. Yeah. If she's coming back, she's going to go to the South Gate. This tax march, which is pretty much the gateway passage through the mountains to here, uh, brings the people around to the South Side. Alright. Thanks, Zach. And a bottle of Oh, you are most gracious. He's like, hurries up and kind of uh, hustles it back to the uh, uh, guard shack area. There's a, uh, you'll see that there's a covered canopy area for the guards to be at. Plus, there's a small uh, wallless shack. There is a, a overhang of wood. The other one's a canvas, and uh, the main guards who are working the gate are underneath the wood one. But there's a larger canvas one, and there's, there's a draped canvas on sides to drop, drop down the block out in the snow that's falling. Excuse me, depending on what direction it's uh, coming through. Uh, and there's fires and it's lit up, and you can see uh, at this point the lamp lighters will have gone around too, and lit up. Lit up. Lit up the. Uh, this place is lit. Lit. Yes. Lit up all the lamps on the uh, street. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the other bottle of wine. Get back to the last one. So. Get a pee. What's up? What's up? All right. So. Uh, Plenty of uh, people out barking about their wares, uh, vents going on, um, and as you uh, walk into the Red Wyvern, uh, Cranberry catches the, your guy's eye and immediately uh, he's in full motion towards you. And he's like, gentlemen, uh, we got trouble. Uh, we've got word. We just got word. They had a courier come. Uh, Got your pay, but apparently the Bordenshaw house was broken into. They uh, really need they, they need they need your help. They got a uh, they had some stuff stolen. That's very important. Did they need our help today? And they're willing to. Uh, well, uh, I guess that depends on. I mean, uh, you can go tomorrow morning, but uh, they're off for another gold. Which well, is, we'll be of course, which, which in game terms is a lot of money. Gold per head. So he gave us our first gold. Yes, and he drops the sack in somebody's hand. He wants to grab the sack. I already okay. have many problems with my game. Cup it properly. Then he easily. I don't have to wait for a long time. Mm -hmm. So. Alright. What ends my image? My body. Okay. So, head first, out there first light. Drink. Well, oh, I wouldn't even say first light. Try to get there by first light. Because it'll still be late morning. Yeah. It's morning. Okay. The uh, inn itself is busy. There are people in there. Seems like uh, some locals. Plus, there seems to be some noobs that have been uh, freshly hired to come in there. Uh, they're talking about what they did for the day. Uh, some of them were talking about doing some stupid stuff with uh, helping out and guarding something. And then some people have worked uh, the docks. But uh, overall, it seems to be uh, less eventful than what you guys got to experience. Okay, talk about that. No, you do. You do hear about it. Uh, not much though, it just all seems to be all kinds of... Somebody saw him on the North Dock, somebody said that 
they, uh, he was in the Sailor's Delight enjoying a, a tryst with one of the ladies. Then you hear that he got into a, a fight in the, the trust quarters and one of the buildings caught fire. Um, just hear kinds of all kinds of crazy stuff. And the person who just off the table. Oh, I heard it from Bob over at, uh, you know, when we were working the docks. He was, uh, said that uh, he had come back from there, you know, having a little fun, and uh, the girls were talking. About uh, how somebody was uh, in one of the beds and he had all these guys. And she saw him and she was taking care of him. How late did you say that? Right now? He had a bad it's case of the Probably about nine. Oh. <laughs> about nine? Yeah, nine bells. See, I did it before. Uh, the festival. As I said, we're still going on. Celebrate. Job well done. Enjoy the festival. Mm-hmm. Well, I could go for this. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say. <laughs> well, let's go. Here, come on! Come on! <laughs> And see the the birds hopping back and forth on his shoulder, all excited. For whatever reason. Bird king. And you're ah! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Stay out of sight. Women love the birds. <laughs> but women love the worm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are we all going to split the down? Anyone yeah. can translate? Is that how you say it? Oh, hey! Hit the towel! Hit the towel! Hit the towel! Yes. Okay. Can I hit some bitches? Ah. We go for the phone. I like it. This is your Game Master here. Thank you for joining us at the Red Wyvern Inn. I hope you enjoyed your time. Check back for the next episode. Keep your sword up and your shield out.